Harder. Harder. We had we had one job, guys. We have gathered here today as a happy family. Oh no, no, no we're not family, bro. We're oh. family, and we're happy, oh. right? Hey, okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Smile. Sure. Smile for them. Yeah. As I said, guys, we're here gathered today as a happy family to show you guys the best part about the holidays. Uh, you mean existential dread? No. It's gifts. I don't get gifts. I'm your gift. Okay? We're going to show you guys the best gifts and deals this holiday season at airsoftgi.com. Uh, we're all going to show our individual list based on our personal preferences. So let's get started. Uh, well, my list is obviously going to be the best. Obviously no, not. No, no, I, no, 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 you don't no, understand. Absolutely not. I have no, the my, best deal. No, no, I have the best list. Here. Uh, no, let's listen, just, let's just no. admit it. Let's, let's just, let's, just tune in, find out. All right, guys, I'm gonna be going off first. My list is gonna be starting or going in a ascending order. So I'm gonna be doing the more affordable, easier to get gifts up front. And then later on in the list for the real ones out there are gonna be the more expensive Gucci gifts. So let's get into it. First up on my list is going to be a vertical grip. This is a very affordable gift that you can get anyone because most airsoft guns can use a vertical grip. It just helps you support the gun, grab it a little bit better and just adds to the aesthetic. The one that I have on this gun right here is going to be the Ranger Armory skeletonized grip with paracord. And Ranger Armory makes you paracord it yourself. And I did a jank job, which I'm fairly sure you can do much better. Or you can run it without the paracord, but it looks cool. The Ranger Armory Skeletonized Grip is retailing for $13.50 at airsoftgi.com. And if you couldn't tell, this is a direct to M-Lock vertical grip. Let's be real, you have an M-Lock rail somewhere. And if you don't, I'm moving on to the next gift. The second gift on my list is going to be the Ammo Max Multi-Fit Holster in that nice carbon fiber, because carbon fiber is the future. But the reason I am recommending this as my second gift is because the number one question that we get for pistols is, what pistol works with my 1911? Oh, what pistol works with my CZP09? What pistol works with my M9? It, this one will work with pretty much every pistol, okay? I'm talking CZP09. It's a little tight, but it locks. Elite Force Glock locks. Lancer Tactical Strike High Kappa, the short one. Locks. A Army Armament R604, full look, full size, locks into place. And a standard 1911, even with the rail, all locks. This holster works great, you know what? I wonder. Obviously a revolver won't work. This is meant for modern handguns, okay? Okay. But they use revolvers in the future. No, they don't. Yeah, watch Blade Runner. Uh, wrong future. The Ammo Max Multi-Fit Holster is retailing for $23 at airsoftgi.com. And this holster is great for everyone because it comes with a paddle style mount so you can mount it to whatever belt system you want to. But if you have a preferred option, Ammo Max does make a molly platform, a clamp style belt platform, and a drop leg platform to meet all of your needs. The third gift on my list is going to be the Fur France CRD2 blast shield with muzzle brake, okay? Now this is a flash device or muzzle brake that goes onto 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads for any airsoft gun. And honestly, this is so clean, it would look good on pretty much any airsoft gun. A AK, a M4, a Tavor if you want to, it'll all work. And the coolest thing about it is the blast shield is removable. So if you didn't want to run that, you can actually have this nice clean brake as well. The Fur France CRD2 muzzle brake and blast shield retail for $40 at airsoftgi.com. And you should really consider this as you're getting two gifts because you are getting this nice, tasty looking flash hider. Again, that looks good on any airsoft gun. But if you're feeling a little spicy, something to change up the look a little bit, you do get that blast shield as well. If you can catch the threats. The next gift on my list is going to be the Ranger Armory 500 Lumen Scout style flashlight. Now this is gonna be an updated model because it does come with the adjustable mounting hardware so you can angle the flashlight exactly where you want to, but it also comes with a direct to Picatinny or direct to M lock mount. So you have multiple options. Of course, it's gonna come with the pressure switch and pressure switch end cap, but you also get the traditional button end cap as well. And for that pressure switch, you do get a little bit of adhesive Velcro right there so you can mount it onto whatever airsoft gun and if you want to switch it from different guns just add a little bit of Velcro onto your other airsoft guns and of course it comes in this nice hard case that can also double as a 
nice little toolbox, you know, something minimalist. So two gifts, <laughs> but honestly, a flashlight is definitely something that I would recommend because it has such a good use in airsoft. Not only can you use it to search around and look for objectives, but you can also use this in a tactical advantage. You can use this to shine onto your opponent when shooting at them to blind them, to give you that split second advantage on the field. The Ranger Armory 500 lumen tactical flashlight is retailing for $48 at airsoftgi.com. And again, guys, it is such a usable tool in airsoft, especially if you play indoors. Next up on my list, I was going to originally recommend a red dot, but we've recommended red dot so much that I wanted to give you guys something different, something a little bit more versatile. And you know me, I like my short dots. So the next item on my list is going to be the Lancer Tactical Illuminated Short Dot. Now this optic is perfect for pretty much every airsofter because you get that versatility that I was talking about. At 1.5 magnification being the lowest, you can run it like a red dot. But if you need to see a little bit further down range and get those long range targets, you can actually increase it all the way up to six times magnification, which is more than enough for airsoft. And just, again, it's so versatile, you can put it on any airsoft gun and run it however you want. The Lancer Tactical Illuminated Short Dot Scope is retailing for $61 at airsoftgi.com. $61, that's about the price of a T1 style red dot. So it's like you're getting a red dot, but more, okay? Again, it's great for every airsoft gun, especially if you decide to go play at different fields or your game style changes up. This is good for a sniper rifle or a DMR, or like right here, you have it on an M4 or some other AEG that can keep up. The last item on my holiday gift list. It wouldn't be me if I didn't recommend it. It is the Airsoft GI paired with Lancer Tactical MGC4, baby. It has my face on the gun. This Airsoft gun was a collaboration, of course, with Lancer Tactical, Airsoft GI, the Mail Gang, and myself. It's such a beautifully built Airsoft gun that could do everything. It comes shooting around 400 FPS out of the box, but it comes with the low power spring to bring under 350 for those of you that play indoors. And guess what? It is a true quick chain spring system. You can remove the buffer tube and change it without having to take out the gearbox. 6.03 inner barrel, rotary style hop up unit, 19k motor it's it's got all the bells and whistles did i mention full metal this is a limited edition run that we did just for the mail gang for you guys and it's running out okay we're running very low on inventory so if you're seeing this video a little bit later it might be all gone so sucks to suck you should have been paying attention earlier but i do gotta say it is so beautifully built it's just a nice airsoft gun that'll light up any airsofter's face on that holiday that you celebrate now, if you wanna hear all about the MGC4 and what it entails, make sure you check out our video where we go in depth about it. But I have a bonus item. If you want to make someone's airsoft life this holiday season, if you just wanna get them the last airsoft gun they'll ever need, make sure you pick up the MGC Storm Custom. Tell them I sent you. The Airsoft GI MGC4 AEG is retailing for $285 at airsoftgi.com. And of course you qualify for the Wombo Combo to get free shipping and rewards points. Hello, it's just, it's such a great package for a full metal airsoft gun under 300 bucks with design arms, Nebula MOSFET and all the other features. This is a fantastic gift. Again, that'll light up your favorite airsofter's face come the holiday season. All right, guys, that was my holiday gift list recommendation. I'm gonna pass it over to Boaz to see what he has in store. Hopefully not as good as mine. Thank you, Cisco, for your insightful list of gift ideas for this upcoming holiday seasons in Airsoft. However, I think my list is arguably gonna be a little bit better, a little bit more important. So let's get into it. The first entry on the list is gonna be the most affordable on my list. However, I will say it is the most important part of your airsoft setup, especially if you're getting into airsoft, okay? So I know a lot of people are getting into airsoft or maybe curious about airsoft as a hobby. And of course, you go to an airsoft field and you get the whole rental package, you know, the face mask and the gun and the BBs, okay? But I will say that the one thing that they, aren't really telling you about these face masks that you get at these airsoft fields that they're cheap paintball masks, okay? So they've been worn time and time again. They've been sprayed with that bowling alley shoe disinfectant spray like a million times over. It's low-key falling apart, low-key being a little bit sketchy, okay? And we wanna move away from that. So you're gonna want your own set of face and eye protection. There's just really no way around it, okay? So I want you to meet my friend over here, Jebediah. Everyone say hi to Jebediah for me. And Jebediah is feeling really good. You know why? It's because he has his own set of eye and face protection. 
And on the top here, he is running the newer Lancer Tactical Rage series of airsoft goggles. Okay, so these are rated for airsoft use only. But the reason why I've chosen the Rage series of goggles over the tried and true classic Lancer Tactical Aero goggles is because of how slim and low profile these goggles are. Now, if you guys know anything about aiming down your sights with eye and face protection, okay, this is a little bit of a negotiation, all right? Especially if you're using a paintball mask, let's say, and you're trying to aim down your sights on your iron sights, forget about it. And having a lower profile set of eye protection really does go a long way. It really helps you acquire your sight picture that much faster. And the best part about these goggles is that they're only running for $22 at Airsoft GI, which is actually an extremely affordable price for some good eye protection. Moving down to the rest of his face, uh, Jebediah here is running the Bravo mesh lower face mask. And if you look on the sides of his face, he has the nice cloth texturing here on the cheeks so it's a little bit more comfortable and where it counts especially the nose and the mouth you get that nice solid metal mesh protection so if you've ever been shot in the face without lower face protection let me tell you it really sucks so to total it all up Jebediah here is rocking a 22 dollar pair of Lancer Tactical Rage protective goggles and is rocking the Bravo lower face mesh mask for $14. So adding the two costs together, you're gonna have a comprehensive face protection set for $36 in total. Now, if you already have a lower mesh mask and you just wanna change out your goggles, easy way to go. 36 bucks, it's actually a very easy buy and actually, will cost you around the same, if not a little less than some of the basic paintball masks out there, but provide a lot more functionality. Just $36, you're gonna like it. All right, moving on. No airsoft wish list is complete without magazines, okay? Whether you're a beginner player or an advanced player, all right, we all need magazines. We usually need more magazines. There's no such thing as having too many magazines. Just ask Cisco. Ask him how many mags he has, specifically how many M4 mags he has. Yeah, he has boxes full of spare magazines. Right in front of me here, I picked out the G&G Banff Atom 90 round mid cap magazines. Now, why did I go with these magazines over, I don't know, a PTS EPM magazines or Elite Force magazines? Why did I go with these magazines specifically? Well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, they look cool as hell and it just, feels really nice in the hand as well. But the biggest reason why I chose these magazines is because they have something very cool and innovative about their design, which is their auto drop feature. Meaning that when you shoot your magazine dry, when it's out of BBs, the magazine will actually auto eject out of the mag wall every gun. Now, there is a learning curve, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is gonna be a learning curve because you, it changes the way you reload. You know, most of the time we realize that our gun is out of ammo and we have to yank the magazine out or maybe drop it free and then insert a new one. But as soon as you're dry, this, this magazine just, boop, it just comes right out of the gun and you're ready for a new one. So if you do enough practice with these magazines, you will be able to, in theory, reload a lot faster than the traditional way. But especially if you're getting this for another fellow airsofter, for the holiday season, I think this makes as a very interesting prank because <laughs> they're not gonna know, they're not gonna remember that these mags auto drop and they're gonna wonder what happened to the mag. GNG has designed these magazines specifically so you can experience the joy and the thrill of reloading. And I love reloading in airsoft. It just, it feels great. Let's make reloading cool again in airsoft. With the auto drop shenanigans aside, each of these GNG Banff Adam 90 round mid cap magazines will run you about $30 at airsoftgi.com. I believe as of right now filming of this video, they did drop this down, I believe to $26.50. Uh, don't quote me on that because that sale might not last forever. It's actually a pretty affordable buy, especially just to add to your endless magazine collection. Next item on my list is going to be what you see in front of you. It's gonna be a nice chest rig by Condor Outdoor. And I believe this is a recon chest rig model in the very nice, trendy, very clouted, very 2022 multi-glam black chest rig. You heard me right, multi-glam, it's glamorous. Not very practical, but man, does it look sick. Like I said earlier, this is the Condor Recon chest rig in multi-cam black, and this clocks in right under $35 at airsoftgi.com. And for the price, you're getting a tremendous, and I mean tremendous value out of the packaging. So right off the gate, this chest rig does come with a lot of magazine pouches. So 
this does come with three double stack M4 magazine pouches, which means you could hold two magazines per pouch, which gives you a total of up to six M4 magazines that you can carry on you at once. And in front of the M4 magazine pouches, uh, you can, in theory, hold up to six pistol magazines. So if you look here on the left and the right hand side of these pouches, you'll see that you have up to four single individual pistol magazine pouches. This can store pretty much any pistol magazine. You can you can store like a single stack 1911 style magazine or any Glock or high Kappa style magazine over here with no issues. And here front and center, you have this, I guess you would say like an M4 magazine flap that does reveal two more of these pistol magazine pouches, but I think Condor kind of intended for you to use them as like a multi-use pouch. So yes, you can still secure pistol magazines, but you can also store things like multi-tools, uh, flashlights, uh, chem lights, glow sticks, you name it, it can fit it, which is a really nice feature. And uh, over here on the three and nine o'clock position, three, nine o'clock position, it does come with molly webbing. So if you wanna attach additional pouches on your person for more substantial loadouts or for longer types of gameplay, you can easily expand your kit. But other than that, for 35 bucks, this is a steal and that multicam black, man, it just looks so freaking clean. Okay, yeah, I know this is an Airsoft channel and you're probably dying to see what kind of Airsoft guns I'm putting on my Airsoft list because obviously we all want a new Airsoft gun for the holidays. I mean, who doesn't, right? But for me personally, I think one of the best bang for your buck options right now, especially with Airsoft guns, is going to be the G&G Armament GTP9 gas blower pistols and let me explain to you why. With all that being said, the G&G GTP9 gas blower pistol clocks in at $157 at airsoftgi.com and that does qualify you for the Wombo Combo for the best savings in airsoft. And let me tell you, especially for the price, you're getting a gun that is really reliable, really gas efficient, and really high performing out of the box. And if you know me, you know that I'm not really big on working on the internals of most guns. I just want to be able to find a good value gun that I can just leave alone and just perform well out of the box. And the GTP9, does exactly that final item on the list yes and it's another airsoft gun and this is for all the gucci ballers out there that love to ball out during the holiday season and this is gonna be as predicted because i'm a huge kw fanboy this is the kw eve 9 uh aeg i, I want to say it's an m4 but it's not but man this is such a pretty looking airsoft gun and yeah, I'm a little biased because, you know, I'm a diehard KWA fan. The first thing you're going to notice about this gun is that it is a full polymer construction build, meaning that the lower and the upper receiver and the handguard are going to be made of a very nice, durable, high quality polymer. It is not cheap plastic. Some of the really nice features of the gun uh, are going to be the fully ambidextrous fire controls. So your selector is going to be fully ambidextrous along with your magazine release and the functioning bolt catch on this gun. This just adds really nice quality of life, especially when you're making adjustments to your gun. This gun does come with a lot of nice extra added value, especially when it comes to the accessories, such as the nice PTS enhanced polymer sights and the very nice PTS enhanced polymer stock, which holds a ton of battery space. KWA does have their very nice originally designed slim vertical foregrip over here. Personally for me, uh, I would just completely just chop this down halfway with a hacksaw just to make it more of a slim hand stop. Internally is where this gun shines. This is using the new AEG 2.5 system from by KWA. And this is the same type of gearbox that you're gonna see in the Ronin's 47 line and in all the QRF series of guns and in all the new KWA original series of guns. And this is a rock solid gearbox. My favorite feature about the 2.5 system is going to be the adjustable FPS out of the box. So. Instead of going with the quick change spring system, which to be honest, I'm too lazy to do the quick change spring system by myself. So having something like an adjustable FPS system out of the box is really nice. You know, like you go chrono your gun at the field and suddenly it shoots too hot, uh, just tune it down a little bit, you know? Maybe it's shooting too slow, then you can crank it back up. And it can all be done really easily without having to open up anything with the gun. With all that being said, the KWA original EVE 9 AG is currently being offered at $280 at airsoftgi.com, which does qualify you again for that wombo combo for the best savings in airsoft and uh, like in airsoft and most things in life you kind of do get what you pay for so yes this is definitely on the more expensive side especially for a polymer gun 
but you can definitely thank me later because this gun again is a beast on the field the range and accuracy on this gun stock is phenomenal and it is a rock solid reliable system that you can count on for many years to come okay so that's pretty much it for my top five wish list items for the holiday season uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But now I'm going to hand it over to Kevin and see, I don't know, what kind of top five speaky beat garbage he came up with. What's going on, guys? Kevin here. And now we're going to get into what you're really here for, which is my list, which is way better than Cisco's as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, the first item on my list is going to be a combo that we actually offer on our website, which is the Tracer combo. This is with the Ace Tech Brighter CS. Uh, I chose this Tracer because it is just the right size for if you wanted to use it for a pistol or for a rifle. It's not too big, not too small. It's right in the middle. And again, this is a combo, so it does come with a whole bag of Tracer BBs so that you can use it right away. This is a great gift for someone who is looking to play indoors and already has guns. It's such a game-changing upgrade for such an affordable price. Again, this is a package deal. Are you ready to go right away? Um, so yeah, item number one. Okay, number two item on my list is going to be the Army Armament R612 MC2. I, I don't know, man. But this pistol is a 4.3 platform pistol with the RMR sight on top, so you can mount an RMR if you wanted to. This is a great pistol if you're just looking to get a reliable uh, sidearm with you. This is a 4.3 length, so it is small, so you can holster it if you'd like. Um, and again, the Army Armament line of pistols has been amazing these past few years. Uh, I always recommend them. And this one specifically, if you're wanting to go for a more incognito look, you know, it's, it's just nice and clean there's nothing flashy about it but it still has all the functionality of an upgraded pistol like the stippled grip and again like i said with the uh, rmr plate um, but yeah a great option for you it's around 140 on our website so pretty affordable for a high kappa this gun performs pretty dang well out of the box but if you want to watch a full review on this guy you can check out the links wherever boaz decides to put it um, so yeah, check out the link check it out all right, now if you're looking to get into the high cap of gang but want to spend a little bit more for some extra features, well, I've got the gift for you. And here we go. This is the Lancer Tactical Strike 3. Wait, that's the same high cap. No, 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 no. This is by Lancer Tactical. Okay, so this guy, a little bit more expensive at 179 on our website. And this guy does come with a ported slide, so you can see this aggressive slide cuts right here. It does still come with that RMR base plate, so you can mount an RMR if you wanted to. Still comes with the stippled grip, just like the Army, but this one, I think this one personally looks a little bit more cleaner. Feels great in the hands. And from my personal experience, I have found that the Lancer Tactical High Kappas actually accept aftermarket parts a little bit more cleanly. It's easier to install, not much fitment or adjustment that you need to do, and it just makes the whole overall upgrade scene a little bit more acceptable here. So Lancer Tactical 3.8 High Kappa, highly recommend. By the way, this pistol is a 3.8 length, which is a little bit smaller than the 4.3 length, so you are getting less slide. A little less inner barrel as well, but just toss on a nice compensator on this guy and you can get the full 4.3 length inner barrel. Woo! That looks sick! Are you sure? Yeah. It looks sick. Are you, are you sure? It looks sick! Are you sure? Say it looks sick! Item number four on my list is going to be a two-parter actually, but of course I am going to recommend a full face mask. I do play a lot of indoors. Boo! Boo! Boo you! Go ahead, get shot in between your cheeks wherever your goggles meet up with your mesh mask. Anyways, if you're looking for full face protection, especially for indoor play, I always recommend a full face mask that covers your entire face and your ears. And here's an option if you're looking to get your, your, you know, your first full face mask. This is the Push Unite Paypal mask. It does cover your full face. This one has a clear lens. It's in black. We do offer different colorways on our website, but you know, Black is the simplest, the cleanest, works with everything. And again, it is a very comfortable platform. Uh, I, I've heard a lot of people have great things to say about this. But of course, if you wanna go with the tried and true, the part two, the die or die, of course, I have to recommend the Die i5 PayPal mask, which is what I personally run. This one is a little bit more expensive at around 194 specifically for this colorway. Um, again, if you're a little bit more on a budget or just looking to get into um, you know, a new face platform, face protection platform. This one is around 160, so a little bit more budget friendly, but of course, if you want that clout, die or die? I'd rather die. I'd rather you die too. 
To wrap up, my list is going to be the KWA EVE 4. Hey, wait, that's my gun. No, 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 this is the EVE 4. No, 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 I specifically told you to the get four. a different gun. This is my gun, bro. This is the EVE 4, which is shorter than the EVE 9, which is what you have. Same thing. No, 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 they're two different. Anyways, the EVE 4 is... Yeah, like the Eve 9, but shorter. But again, it's a great platform for someone who's looking to get into Airsoft but wants to spend a little bit more money. This is, I would say, still a pretty affordable gun in terms of the quality and build quality and the functionality that you get out of it. Since it is the E4, it does have a shorter handguard here, but it does have all the internals as the Eve 9. So it has a 2.5 gearbox, um, it has the adjustable FPS, which is a game changer for people who are looking to get a gun that does everything, right? You want to take it outdoors, crank up the FPS a little bit, you want to bring it indoors, lower it a little bit, fine tune it. Uh, it does also have this amazing stock right here that has plenty of battery space for you to, you know, chuck in a brick type if you really wanted to, last all day. Um, and again, this whole platform is also upgradable. You can drop in a Gate Titan, you know, push it to its max. Yeah, overall, amazing platform and a great gift for, again, new players or even, you know, advanced players who are looking for a new build. That's gonna wrap up my list for my top five holiday gift ideas for the holiday season. As you can see, my items are a little bit more CQB focused, indoor focused, but uh, yeah, th this is still way better than Cisco's list of items. So yeah, go ahead and write down in the comments, just let them know, my list is way better, all right? Give me this. I'm the face of the show. All right, guys, thank you for watching our holiday gift list hopefully you found some of the items on our list perfect for the airsofter in your life and if you guys like what you saw be sure to like comment and subscribe to be notified of whenever we upload more airsoft content and if you would like to help keep the lights on and help keep that camera rolling please make sure to do some of your holiday shopping at good old airsoft gi all right guys that's it for now my name is cisco kevin and boaz <laughs> and We'll see you in the next one. But from all of us here at Airsoft GI, we wish you a happy, happy holiday. holiday. Guys, but we practiced this. No, but you said no. that. No, happy holidays. That's all that we needed to say. Wait, but I thought, didn't we, we're recording this in the summer. Yeah, isn't it May? It's to film ahead of time. It's so hot. It's so hot. Dude, I'm like, I'm, I'm burning it up in here, dude. Like, that was mine. Yeah, we're going to move up.